Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at port and starboard lateral marks. I'm going to cover the marks in both voyage regions A and B. First off let's look at the different voyage regions. We could imagine the whole world as one region which we could call region A. We need to add in a couple of exceptions. North and South America, Japan, the Philippines and Korea. These make up voyage region B. Let's take this starboard lateral mark in region A. If we swapped over to region B, the only difference would be that it would be red. The same would apply to the port lateral marks and even the preferred channel marks. To look at the buoys in a little bit more detail, we're going to start off with the port lateral mark in region A. For each of these, we're just going to look at all the different characteristics. First off, it's colour. Well, obviously it's red. If we look at the main part of the buoy, we get an indication of shape, which is going to be a can-shaped. Now, this could be on a buoy, a pillar, or a spar. We'll cover these different things later in the video. Next off, we look at the top mark, which in this case is going to be a red can. It's not always fitted. You can see the buoy at the bottom hasn't got a top mark fitted. But if it is, it's going to be a red can. At night, what about the light? It's going to be a red light, and the rhythm is going to flash any except group flashing 2 plus 1. The reason being is that group flashing 2 plus 1 is reserved for preferred channel marks. Swapping over to region B, we can see that the only thing that has changed is the colour. The colour of the main boy is swapped to green, the colour of the top mark again is swapped to green, and the colour of the light has swapped to green. Everything else remains exactly the same. At night time, the port lateral mark is distinguishable by its red light. This particular one is flashing at 3 and 5 seconds. Remember, it can flash any rhythm except group flashing 2 plus 1. If we swap over to region B, you can see the only thing that changes is the colour of the light. This is that same boy still flashing 3 and 5 seconds but it's in the different region, so now the colour is green. Port lateral marks indicate the port side of a channel or fairway. If you're following the direction of voyage, you need to leave the buoy on your port side. If you're going against the direction of voyage, of course, you would leave it on your starboard side. This is why direction of voyage is important with lateral marks. Now let's have a look at the starboard lateral marks, starting off with region A again we're going to complete the same information. Their colour, well it's going to be green, we know that from the picture. Then we're going to look at the main body of the buoy itself. We can see that its shape is going to be a cone shaped and this could be a buoy, a pillar or a spar. In this case the bottom diagram represents a buoy and the one at the top is a pillar. In the case of a pillar it's got to have the top mark and the top mark is going to be a green cone. The light, well it's going to be a green light, fairly obviously, and the rhythm, just like the port one, it can be any rhythm except group flashing 2 plus 1. Swapping over to region B, we can see that the only thing that has changed again is the colour. The main colour of the boy, of course, is now red, the top mark's colour is now red, and the light is also now red. When you see the boy at night, of course in region A, starboard laterals are going to be green, this particular one is flashing twice every 10 seconds. Again, it could flash any rhythm except group flashing 2 plus 1. And then if we swap over to region B, again you can see the only thing that's changed is the colour. Of course, at night the colour is very important. You can see it's now a red light. Again, this is that same mark, so it's flashing twice in 10 seconds. Everything else is remaining the same. And just as with the other lateral marks, starboard marks are now indicating the starboard side of a channel or fairway. When you're following the direction of voyage, you need to leave them to your starboard side to keep you in safe water. And then running against the direction of voyage, you'd leave them to your port side. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you found the information useful. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.